Tani Games here, welcome back to the channel. Um, my original plan was to do a video doing my dream snap. <laughs> I even prepared my outfit ready for it um, and then uh, it started raining. So <laughs> bad news, we're not going to be able to do that. Um, but I do still think we can do some stuff. So my plan is, because it's needed for the star path, that we actually pick up one of these doorknobs that are dotted around. Um, I always assumed there was only one knob, but I noticed whilst I've been playing the game that actually there's a few of them dotted around, which is interesting. I don't know if that's just to make it more visible or if there's a particular reason, if I've forgotten that you maybe have to collect a few of them. I don't know, but hey either way, there's a couple of these dotted around, so I figured we would pick one up and see about getting Mirabelle in. Um, <laughs> we could certainly use it, to be fair, so why don't we go to Merlin? Actually, before I do, why don't I just check? Does it get rid of all the others? I think it does. I mean, the way to tell would definitely be the one over here. Yeah, it's gone. So I wonder if there was just like multiple just to make it easier to see in case you miss it. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but I guess either way we have the doorknob. <laughs> I guess it didn't matter which one we picked up. Let's uh go and speak to Merlin. I can see into the future. So I know you should come talk to me. <laughs> oh, hello. How marvellous. A golden doorknob with an M engraved in oh. it. Now this may not look like much, Tanya, but it's proof your efforts against the forgetting are bearing fruit. I found this line around the village. Um, I thought the local expert on you weirdness know might know what it is. <laughs> expert on weirdness. That's not a title I've ever heard before, but it does have sort of a ring to it, doesn't oh. it? Now then, this golden doorknob belongs to a charming young lass named Mirabelle Madrigal. You wanted her to feel at home, so with my help, you enchanted her house to remind her of where she's from. The enchantment gave the building the power to reflect Mirabelle's kindness and energy, but even so, <laughs> we never expect expected Minnie Casita to become quite so magical and so protective of its inhabitant. What do you mean? <laughs> Well, when the forgetting struck, Mirabelle, like many of us, started to lose her memories. Then one morning, her house wasn't there anymore. I quickly went to investigate, and what I discovered astonished me. To protect Mirabelle, her home disappeared into a small universe of its own. Finding this golden doorknob can only mean one thing. Minnie Casita is considering coming back. But first, you'll need to prove to it that the valley is safe once again. Um... So even the buildings are judging me now. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, most magical things have opinions. Houses, well, swords, see... sugar bowls. Sounds like there's a story there. Oh. Some other time, perhaps, we must focus on bringing Mirabelle back to the valley. Now, houses believe in deeds, not words, and houses often come to resemble their inhabitants. To prove the valley safe for Mirabelle, you'll have to embody the magical's values. What are the magical values? values <laughs> well i'm told they always believe in bringing their village together to help the community and i remember mirabelle checking in on everyone here to ensure their needs were fulfilled oh and she also became quite fond of photographs if that helps hmm i could take some pictures of villagers as for making sure everyone's needs are fulfilled i could check what the villagers need and give them some gifts fine indeed Ideas indeed, Tanya, while simply engaging some of the villagers in conversation might be enough. <laughs> After all, everyone appreciates being thought mm -hmm. of. The more acts of kindness you perform, the more magic the golden doorknob will gain. Once it has enough, Mini Casita will return. I'll give this a trial run, I'll talk to you once I'm done. Thank you. You're okay, so we need to take some villa photos with villagers. I wonder if I take one just with, like, several people in it. Like, whether this will work. Come over here, Merlin. I never thought I'd want Merlin in a picture. Merlin, come. 
<laughs> okay, apparently he doesn't want to be in it. Okay. Could use a okay, few that more worked. That here. worked. We got three out of three just by taking one photo. Okay, so we need to give different villagers their favorite gifts and have daily discussions. So, uh, Scrooge, come here. Hi, hello. Um, this village is perfect, don't you think? You know what this village needs? A money bin so I can go for a swim. Uh, we can't afford that. Not yet, perhaps, but a few savvy business decisions and a daring adventure or two and you'll see. So I've made one fortune and how I'll make another. Okay. Maui, come here. Oh, hey. So far this village is fine, but you know what? It doesn't have coconuts. Oh, this is a quest thing. Uh, it would already have them if I create a dreamlike valley, but I didn't. But lucky for you, I can create coconuts now. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. See, things are already looking oh. up. So first I need an eel. My fishing friend Groofy can catch, help you catch some. Go check with him. What? Go, go. You're the real deal, kid. Hey, look who's here. Me. <laughs> You look uh -huh. like you have a question. Tanya, got a question for you. Which of these do you think is the best animal to turn into? Sneaky beetle, fearsome shark, or awesome, powerful giant hawk? Uh, I like the idea of sneaking around as a beetle. It has its uses, but you got to be careful when you're tiny. A chicken might try to eat you. <laughs> All right, now we okay, now we just need to see if there's any gifts I can hand out easily. Uh, a mushroom should be pretty easy to get for Kristoff. Uh, some oregano for Goofy. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so let's grab a mushroom. Kristoff. Uh, mushroom. The little mushrooms. Here we go. Ah, oh, he's behind. Hey there, pal. Yeah, hey there, Goofy. Oh, hey. Uh, I have something to give you. Oh, I have some of this. I had no idea. Wow, thanks. This is great. Wait, could we talk? Uh, talk to you later. I really appreciate that. Let's go talk to Goofy. I'm no doubt going to trigger something because he has the little blue thing above him, but it doesn't matter. Hey there. You're looking for an eel? Are you sure? They're slippery as eels. Hey, yeah. Well, you're going to need worms and a fishing trap. I always find lots of worms burying around the ponds in the meadow. You just got to dig them up, then craft a trap with wood and head to the water to place your trap. Whoa. Whoa. It'll attract plenty of eels for whatever it is you're doing. Oh, the best place to put the trap is near the dock on the beach. Good luck. Good boy. Okay. Wow! Great to see you, pal. Uh, I have something to give you. Hey, yuck. I like it. Great to see you, pal. Um, sorry I can't talk now. Okay, there we go. Let's go back to Merlin. Well, hello. <laughs> I completely just skipped over that. I'm so sorry. Aha, excellent work, Tanya. We're getting closer, but we still need more dream light. What can I do? Mm -hmm. The best way to create more is simply to take you know care of the village. The if you need a reminder of what you can do, don't forget to gaze in the waters of the plaza well. I'll go do that and check with you later. Okay, I guess we needed a certain amount of dream light, but we have that. Okay, oh, he wanted 500. That's fine, I can spare 500. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, Tanya. Your hard work has paid off. Mini Casita is now ready to return to the valley. You simply must decide where you wish for Mirabelle to live and it will appear. I couldn't have done better myself. Okay, so let's place Mini Casita down. Boom. And it's massive. <laughs> Okay, let me have a think. Maybe if I 
Because I can probably rearrange stuff up here. And get mini casita down here. I think that's going to be the best place for it. Um, so why don't I pick this up. Oh, it's always the way that there's something... Something in the way. I think this is fine though. I think it's not going to get in the way too much. Then I just need to figure out where to scoot Penelope to. Actually, I'll just leave her there for now. Just so I can move some of these flowers. I don't think I need to move them. But picked them up. Grab the rock, put it there. Okay, that should be fine and hopefully it fits in. <gasps> does, it just does. Okay, there we go. We've got her there. And then hopefully this means we can get Manika Zeta down. Oh, it looks like it'll go here. Okay, well that's good. Welcome, Mirabelle. Great to see you. I was trying to see if I could like fit both the like weird hand poses. Cause she does the like hand fin too. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Oh well. Oh god, that's a bad photo. <laughs> oh no. Let's just get one where we're smiling. We go that will do it's hey, nice hold having up. so many friends and here. let's talk to mirabelle hi yon where am i how long have i been asleep um, wait am i back in the valley it looks so much better and someone made all that darkness go away you you must be the one who did that felicidades 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 dades Sorry, I'm so bad at pronouncing words I don't know how to say. Um, I'm so glad to be back. Where were you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. It was strange and everything looked frozen in time. I woke up once to drink a glass of water, but I was so tired I went straight back to bed. I'm guessing you're the one I should thank for bringing me back. Uh, It was totally worth all the work. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm a super hard worker, happy to help with anything you need. Something tells me we're going to be great neighbours. Oh, I'm so happy to see this valley. Before the forgetting, it was full of friends, happiness and so much laughter. Everyone helped each other just like they do in my Encanto. I really loved it here. Aww. That's why I was so sad to see people forget and leave. And, that, and then when the darkness fell over everything... <laughs> But now the darkness is gone, there's dreamlight shining on everything again, and I'm back. I can already huh. tell that you're doing amazing stuff here, and I can't wait to see what happens next. Whoop. Now we have Mirabelle in. We can maybe see about bringing her some gifts, hopefully. Uh, let's see what she wants. Oh god, porridge with fruits, crepe, and pink house leek. Well, I can't get the pink house leek. I can maybe try and figure out... I'm going to have to check my video, actually. I have a whole video with all the recipes, so <laughs> why don't I just have a look at that and just see? Okay, so I can't make the crepe until I unlock the uh, nice sunlit plateau because I need right? some vanilla but we'll try and make the um the porridge um okay. so we need wheat we need milk and we need any fruit I believe it was here we go 
And then we can make a grilled fish entree for uh, Maui since we're here. Okay. Hey, what took you so long? Uh, I have your order. <laughs> here you go. Here we go, Maui's level three. Okay, and I can claim this one. I can actually do this uproot the forgetting as well. That probably wouldn't be so bad to do. So I could go around into the, the forest or down to the beach. Um, where is Mirabelle? Oh, she's apparently... Was she not looking like she was in front? Oh, no, she's in Scrooge's. Okay, that's why it looked like she was in front of me. <laughs> Those night oh, are the greetings, worst, neighbor. No, I'm not trying to talk to you, Scrooge. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, I have something to give you. Here's your porridge with fruits. Gracias. Oh, I'm so excited to get this little decorative item. I actually really like that. Uh, again, we'll go gardening. Hey, hold up! Oh, I wonder with the dream snaps if that's a better. It is. They're better glasses. Nice. Okay. That's kind of good to know. Actually, one thing that I'm kind of excited about to do with this dream snap is how most of this outfit is sort of stuff that I've gotten from like quest lines or just from opening up things in the valley. Like, not a lot of them have been items that I've had to rely on Scrooge for. So, I'm kind of happy about that. Um, wait, what was I doing? Um... Oh yeah, we're going to read the forgetting. I actually need to have a look what uh, Vanellope wants, actually. Because I've got to give her some gifts. Coconut boba tea, sautéed mushrooms and white impatience. Okay. This should be fairly straightforward to do, I should think. Like, I might potentially have to, um... Um... Get some other stuff for the boba tea. Like, I don't know if I need... I suppose I can get sugar on the beach, though, so... That probably isn't too bad, because I think it's... Oh, well, I'll need to do Maui's quest when I for the coconuts, so... Although, actually, I can get coconuts from Moana's realm, so... Maybe I don't? We'll have to have a look and see. See if we can grab some mushrooms up here as well. Because I am assuming sautéed mushrooms are just like mushrooms. Maybe with butter, potentially. nice and fast I'm surprised at the lack of like mushrooms <laughs> okay let me just eat a couple of things But I do remember, like, with... I think there was, like, some sort of 
quest or maybe it was Star Path Duty. I don't remember what it was. But I remember when I first played the game, I struggled a bit with getting like mushrooms for something. And then that's when I found out about the hack to move the wells across. Because like all my mushrooms were spawned on the opposite side. We'll pick up this bit of seaweed whilst we're here. I don't have any lobster on me at the moment so I think I won't <laughs> I won't worry about feeding the critters oh no my inventory's full okay let me drop that for a second so then when I open this up I'll have space again oh yay a red basin sink just what I always wanted <laughs> Oh no, I won't bother because if my inventory's full, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to do anything with this stuff. Okay, why don't I go back to the house, see if I can drop some of this off. <laughs> bit more space back in the the old inventory okay what else did I need to do um oh we need to get five of those right let's see if we can do these uh, sauteed mushrooms or the coconut thing because I assume I still have coconuts in my inventory. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. I don't know if it needs to be sugar cane or not. It might potentially need to be. We'll try it with the cocoa and just see. Yeah, I only made a shake. I have a feeling I need actual sugar cane. Okay. Might have to go to the beach and buy some sugar cane seeds then. This place is the cat pajamas. <laughs> Look, you can buy some straight out. I mean, it's only 29, so we'll buy five and then I will buy 10 of those just so I can plant them because I don't know how long it takes to um, actually like grow and stuff. Um, so, yeah. I'll feed this white rabbit. <laughs> mm. 
Uh, here you go, here's a carrot for you. Yay, we got the white rabbit! Oh, that's nice. Okay. I'm not sure what other rabbits here today. Okay, let's plant this first. So maybe now I can do my dream snap with the right uh, white rabbit instead of this classic rabbit that I've got. Like the white rabbit might be a bit more like exciting to use. Like stand out a bit more. Oh, don't make that noise Wally. I thought you were breaking. I have no idea where the other rabbit is. Oh, there it is. It's a black and white one. Okay, and here you go. Okay, there we are. Uh, not at the moment, Mickey. You'll have to wait. <laughs> Got a moment, pal? No. No time for you. Okay, let's try and get this coconut bova done. Because I, I have a feeling, like, off the top of my head, this is how you make it. I think. Yes! I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to you, Maui. Thanks okay. for stopping by. Hey, Tanya. I've been thinking. Your valley is totally great, but it might be missing something. Got a sec? For you, <gasps> always. Woo! Okay, so I can't believe you have all this space and all this neat stuff, but you don't have a candy biome. Uh, that sounds sticky. Uh, yeah, sticky and awesome. If I'm gonna stay, we'll have to make some candy related changes around here. I may no longer be a sugar rush racer, but my love for candy never dies. First things first, landscaping. Take these candy cane seeds. Uh, can I eat these? <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it, pal, unless you want a tree sized stomach ache. Plant them, sprout them, and then bring them to me when you're done. In the meantime, I'll try to find some more stuff around here that we can use to decorate. Thanks, pal. I think I remember that happening and everyone being hey so there. excited that it was like some sort of secret confirmation of a candy biome coming. <laughs> uh, you think anyone in the village is faster than me? Uh, I have something to give you. Okay, so she wants the coconut boba tea. Uh, so we can give her that. And then we do want to try and get some sautéed mushrooms. Dum, dum, da, 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 dum. Okay. I don't remember, like I said, exactly how to do it. But we have a butter still, so we'll throw that in. And then we'll throw in the mushrooms. Here we go. And I was thinking, like, maybe I put in, like, a herb, a seasoning. Just in case. Okay, sautéed mushrooms. Okay, so the sautéed mushrooms did just need the butter and mushrooms. I was right. Okay. 
Uh, I have something to give you, and here is your sautéed mushrooms. Enjoy. Okay. So, that is that done. Then we have bring your favourite magical some gifts, which we can't do at the moment. But, I am thinking potentially, like, what if we do just open up sunlit plateau i mean i think i have the stuff for it at some point i think i'm gonna need the sunlit plateau for some of these possibly i mean what was it like okay it's seven thousand i've got thirteen thousand dream light so i can afford it yeah go on let's open oh, this up hello now, I know you haven't been to the Sunlit Plateau yet. Take it from me, it's not to be missed. Of course, you'll have to remove these night, flaun night fawns to clear the path. Let's go to the Sunlit Plateau. Good show, Tanya. You've cleared the way to the Sunlit Plateau. Ah, oh, so exciting. Oh my god, how exciting! We've got Scar in now! Okay, I'm gonna have a look and... Uh, I need a pink house leak, don't I? One of them wanted that. <laughs> and then we need some vanilla. I'm praying this is actually vanilla, yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh, it's the uh, cotton stuff. Okay. Right, I think that'll do for now. <laughs> and let's go finish up. What were we doing? Who did we need stuff for? Mirabelle needed the pink house leak. And then we wanted to make a crepe, which I think was the thing that needed um, the vanilla for. Yeah, wheat, milk, and egg, and uh, vanilla. So we can actually get Mirabelle some more gifts. So we'll make this for her. I definitely think though, like when it comes to like the recipes and stuff like that, you really have to either spend ages like practicing like a bit of like trial and error and stuff like that. Or you do end up having to like look it up look up the recipes like the game definitely doesn't give you many to work with but i guess that's the whole point is that they want you to experiment and stuff like that There we go, and that should be helping me with these above average things as well. Okay. And we just have to find Mirabelle. That's right. I'm Neighbors are right. Uh, oh, she's here in the plaza somewhere. Oh, wait, no, is she in... Yeah, she's in the screw shop, isn't she? <laughs> I keep forgetting that because it's so close. I keep thinking she's just hey. in the middle of the plaza. Hey, Tanya, do you have some time to help me with Mini Casita? Uh, what seems to be the issue? Nothing major, but there's some damage from the time we spent wherever it was it took me to protect me. Uh, shouldn't a magical house be able to repair itself? Well, sometimes magic needs a little love and elbow grease to work. Let's go to Mini Casita and I'll show you what has to be fixed. We love this. Okay, let's give Mirabelle the stuff. Oh, I accidentally spoke to her. Oh, well. I've got to know something because when I tell Anthony about you, he's going to ask. What's your favourite animal? Uh, a jaguar. Oh, good choice. Big cats are so majestic. Oh. Antonia has a jaguar friend who gives him rides on his back. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, and I have leveled up too. What do we get on 24? Oh, we get the little fireplace. Games. I have so many amazing okay. neighbors. Uh, I have something to give you, and let's give her some of this stuff. So there's the pink house leak. <laughs> yeah! Uh, there is the crate. Leveled up again. Level four. Nicely done. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty good progress in terms of that. We enclose the daily discussion thing because we managed to do that. Um, we can easily do the thingies for the Glade of Trust and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think we've made quite a bit of progress because what else was it that thingy wanted? Uh, Vanellope. Oh yeah, White Impatience, which I can't get because they're in the thingy lands, Forgotten Lands, which we haven't opened yet. So, yeah, that's not too bad. So those three I can't do anything with at the moment. Okay, we'll see if we can get some of these rocks mined and get that task done. Because I know there's some, like, you can see this here. has some uh, gem in it. We could maybe go up here into the um, Forest of Valor to try and do a bit of digging to get some um, iron as well. Like I figure that's probably helpful to do. How we looking? So we've got some we've got one for the shiny rocks which will be the shiny peridot we got okay. oh not another shiny <laughs> Maybe we head down to the beach. <laughs> I think it smells like my husband's cooking dinner. I might be going absolutely crazy <laughs> and smelling stuff that isn't there. But it does smell like it. In which case I feel bad. I mean, it is, whilst I'm recording this, it is 6.30pm, which usually we would probably be making dinner around now. So now I feel a little bit guilty. <laughs> Peaceful meadow, decorations to the glade. Let's uh, do the whole <laughs> decorating trick that I usually do. There we are. Okay. And we can see if we can mine another rock spot here. wonder if we can get round. Yes, we can. That's good. Are you making food? Yeah. 
Okay, husband is making food. <laughs> he is! He's making the food. Okay. Oh, and now we get mine for rock spots on Dazzle Beach. Isn't that typical? Typical. The villagers are depending on you. Always the way, always the way. Um, maybe we get a shiny gem here. I think these ones tend to typically give shiny gems, but not always, as we could tell from that. Mad, 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 mad a minute. the memory oh no luck <laughs> okay well i tell you what i have been going for about 40 minutes now for this so since i do want to do one video which i'll do following up from this where i actually make my dream snap for you guys just so you can sort of see it um i will wrap up here and then i can go help my husband with making dinner um <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you being here. We've made obviously quite a lot of progress today. We've managed to get Mirabelle in. We've unlocked the Sunlit Plateau. Um, we've got, we had Mother uh, Goffle in one of the previous videos. So yeah, we've done a lot of progress today. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get on over the weekend because I am away traveling. Uh, we're going to go see our friend Spread for his birthday. So I am away. Um, obviously, that will have all happened by the time this video goes live because this video is probably not going to go live till next week. <laughs> so that will have all happened <laughs> already. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm sure it'll be a fun time. But that does mean I don't know if I'm going to be able to get on much and stuff like that. But I do want to get my dream snap done <laughs> before we go away so I don't forget about it in case I'm busy next week. But I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you're enjoying this series. Like maybe it's nice for you to go back and see all this stuff again. Um, perhaps it's kind of nice just to uh, put this kind of video on in the background. Just leave it running as you do like washing or chores or whatever it may be you have to do and maybe it's just a bit of background noise but either way I appreciate you all for watching it means the world to me to have you going through this journey again and revisiting some of the old storylines and things like that so thank you everyone and I'll see you in the next video bye guys